we need to communicate more broadly what the benefits are of sustainable society. As we talk very much about uh, the rational sense it makes, we are creating the legal frameworks because otherwise we don't do it quickly enough. Uh, but we are forgetting a little bit the emotional side of the equation. So to communicate to the public at large what a sustainable society looks like, why it's beneficial, and thereby exert more pressure on politicians, on business to act faster. And the second part is to move from talking to acting. So to actually define and start more implementation projects. And I think if we have real projects, like renovating, like greening European schools or public offices or certain city aspects, then I think that will force also solutions to the inconsistencies in policy frameworks, the financing question and all of that. So I think those two sides are really important. And, and come to think of it, um, now mentioning greening Europe's schools, uh, come to think of it, it's also the generation that is at school today who are going to be the workforce of tomorrow. And they have to deliver the biggest chunk of their reductions. They will be working in 2050. And I think there's also one message um, yeah, that I feel uh, that's really important for Copenhagen. And that's the following. So if our children go to school, they have a timeline, they have an ambition level, and they have a curriculum. And if they would take that lightly, I think we as parents would find that completely unacceptable. Yet, this is how we as adults treat climate change. We have not yet agreed on the timeline, we have not yet agreed on the ambition level, we're beating around the bush, if you will, and we still have to make the largest part of the curriculum that has to do the job. So I would hope that as we are uh, yeah, custodians of this planet for the next generation that's a school today, let's improve their learning environments with the real projects, let's communicate to them, they're also ambassadors, and let's, let's, let's seal a deal in Copenhagen. I think this is really key.